Okay, so today we're going to look at burning disk images. Okay, so you'll go to your source that you would like to download. Here we're just going to go with Gparted. Okay, it'll start in four, three, two, one seconds, and then it will be down here. And about another minute left to uh, on downloading that. So we're going to be looking at a couple different applications here. Okay, let's uh, go to a new. Different burning tools out there, and I'm going to be showing you um, Brazero Disk Burner today, and using that. And then you can use Gnome Baker. I tried that; it's also good, um, and has lots of different features also. But today we're going to be using the Brazero Disk Burner, okay? And then also we're going to be showing you how to you copy a CD onto another CD using Brazero. Okay, there's a few seconds left here. Now, the, most I disk images, um, when you're creating an image disk, will be in ISO format, and that just stands for International Standard of Organization, or actually, it's International Organization of Standardization, but they have the letters backwards, obviously. But um, that's what it stands for. You may have heard of uh, like ISO 9000 and stuff like that. So anyway, um, they have UDF and formats also, I believe, and some other ones. Uh, ISO is pretty standard for uh, lots of software images. In the meantime, while it's downloading, we'll just pause this. Okay, so it's done downloading, so we'll go with Show in Folder. And we'll click Open with Brazer Road Disk Burner. Actually, going to go to a new workspace for this. Okay, now you'll put in a blank CD. Now here it's 1.127.5 megabytes, and the average CD will hold 700 megabytes. And if it's larger than 700 megabytes, you can go with uh, DVDs, which will be about 4.7 gigabytes, I believe. So you can use those different ways of doing that. And from here, you would just click burn. And you burn it to your uh, CD here. Okay. Let's see what we have for properties. I was looking for if you were able to. Okay, you can uh, leave the disk open to add other files later, which would be nice. And then for... Uh, Doing that, but I was looking for a way to uh, go in specifically to change um, the writable, um, the write and read only uh, preferences on that. Okay, so that's one way of doing this. Okay, so we'll uh, eject this and then I'll show you about copying from disk to disk. And I'm just going to take a CD here. We'll plug that in. And this disk is one I created, and it's uh, it has Linux 10.10 .10 on it, um, or uh, Ubuntu 10.10. .10, sorry, Ubuntu 10.10. .10. And uh, okay, we're gonna cancel that, and we will go with uh, places. Actually, we'll go with opening up Brazero straight off the bat. Open up Brazero. Open up Brazero. <laughs> Why is this taking so long? Yeah, I figured it would fail if it's taking 
so long. Right. Here we go. Okay, so you'll go to disk copy. So create one and create one. Okay, and you can do that with the DVD also. So we'll click on that, and automatically it realizes we might. It doesn't recognize that there's two disk sources. So here it will copy this, and then um, we're gonna burn it to the same disk. Okay, so the drive that holds the source disk will also be the one used to record and so that's how we would do that and we would click copy and then it would start copying those files that are on the disk and then later we'll put in a blank disk and we'll tell it to burn it and that's how you can just create different disk images alright thanks for watching